All right, um, the next lesson that we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about the graphs of the reciprocal func functions, secant, cosecant, cotangent. Um, they're actually, they're not too bad, okay? Um, as long as you guys understand what a reciprocal is and as long as you're okay with the sine, the cosine, and the tangent, then a lot of it pretty much follows, okay? So, um, Right here I have the parent function for the sine, okay? So we're gonna use that to help us look at uh, cosecant, right? Because cosecant is the reciprocal of the sine, okay? So if the sine values are zero, one, zero, negative one, and zero for the parent function, okay? For the cosecant, Okay, it's just the reciprocal, right? What's the reciprocal of zero? Well, that would be one over zero or anything over zero, so that would be undefined. What's the reciprocal of one? Well, that's just one. Reciprocal of zero is undefined. Reciprocal of negative one is negative one. Reciprocal of zero is undefined. Okay, so when you go to actually look at your graph, right, and the sign, wherever the sign had a zero point, you are now gonna have an asymptote because it was undefined there. Okay. Um, and these points, because the reciprocals of negative one and one are the same, they're just one and negative one, so these points are going to stay. Okay, so now when you go to make the actual graph, think about what a reciprocal is. It's the flipped fraction, right? You're flipping it. So if you imagine taking, if this, uh, the asymptotes kind of split the sine graph into just like a bunch of U's, right? So if you imagine taking those U's and flipping them over the point, so instead of looking like that, this graph, this in here is now gonna look like this, okay? For this one, you're gonna flip the graph. Flip the U in between the asymptotes. And it looks just like that, okay? Now I'm gonna get rid of, you really don't need, I just kind of lightly sketched in the sine graph because to give us a good idea of what it looks like, but you really shouldn't have that in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and erase it. Okay, I'll show you guys when you go to actually graph everything. You don't even really need to do that at all, unless you want to. If you feel like you need to to kind of help you, then um, do it. But if you do, just make sure you erase it afterwards. Okay, and that's the cozy can graph. That's all it takes. Okay, the sine, I'm sorry, the um, secant is going to look very much the same. Okay, because we're gonna take a look at the inverse of, or I'm sorry, the reciprocal, sound like you guys, the reciprocal of the cosine. Right, the reciprocal of one is one, the reciprocal of zero is undefined, negative one is negative one, zero is undefined, and one is one. Oops, gotta focus there, sorry. Okay, so again, the reciprocal of each one of these, the reciprocal of one is one, reciprocal of zero is undefined, reciprocal of negative one is negative one, zero is undefined, and one is one, right? So it's almost exactly the same thing that you had with the, um, with the cosecant, right? It's just things are in different spots. So there's your, you have undefined where the zeros are, right? These points still exist because their reciprocals are stay exactly the same, and then you're flipping the U. There you go. Okay. Um, oh, again, I'm gonna delete, or delete, my God. I'm going to erase the little rough sketch, light sketch of the cosine graph that I have. Because again, we're graphing secant and cosecant and cotangent. We're not actually graphing tangent, okay? 
So now when we go to look at tangent, okay, or cotangent, all right, let's do this one in green. Okay, so same idea, all right? It's a little bit different though because you've got some things going on, but we'll take a look, okay? Same idea, reciprocal of zero is undefined. The reciprocal of one is one. The reciprocal of undefined, okay? That's the kind of weird part. All right, well, think about what it means for something to be undefined. If it's undefined, that means it's like one or three or five over zero. So if you flip that, you're gonna get zero. Thank you. Okay. And negative one is a reciprocal of that, and that is undefined. Okay? Now, same idea when you go to graph. Where you add zeros, you now have undefines. That's the same as it was before. Where else is it? Oh, here we go. Okay. These points are staying the same. Okay, and where you had undefines, you now have a zero. Okay, and then the graph is gonna look like this. Okay, so it's not quite the same because it's not like flipped or, um, it, it's not exactly flipped because it's shifted over a little bit, but you still get the same idea that it's now going down to the right instead of up to the right, like a, co like a tangent graph, okay? And again, I'm gonna get rid of these because they really shouldn't be there. Okay, and that is all it takes. Um, in the next couple of videos, we're gonna show you, I'm gonna show you some examples of how to actually graph and what to do. Um, or you, again, you can come to live sessions and see it there.